What's up, Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel. And for the second consecutive day in the row, we have breaking news to announce over the past hour of the time recording this. This time from John Heyman for the MLB. First, I saw to tweet this that yes, the New York Mets have in fact picked up veteran Southball, who has put on waivers recently from the Toronto Blue Jays. That being, and yes, Brad Hand. So that's all I'll be breaking down in today's video. Everything there is to know about the 31 year old reliever, what potential impact, if anything, you will have for the Mets bullpen for the remainder of the season and beyond. So, as always, guys, make sure you stay all the way until the end of the video. Follow the details and all my thoughts on Brad Hand. And if this is upside, a downside, and everything that you should be feeling about this move, if at all, going forward. And guys, if you ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this, please do not hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends, on the notification bell. All those great things. Thank you all so much for the continued support, guys. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into today's video. Well, 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 how the tables turn, Mr. Brad Hand. If you guys don't know, we did a lot of videos talking about Brad Hand and even live stream talking about him when he ultimately did not sign with the Mets back in free agency because the Mets were going after so many different players and having their tabs on every guy available in free agency back in the 2020 offseason. But they were very much interested in a guy like Brad Hand as well because they need a southpaw in this bullpen. At least one multiple would have been ideal, but they only ended up getting Aaron Loop and we'll be, we'll be talking about him shortly. But Brad Hand, who was a hot commodity for many teams trying to add him to really bolster their bullpen give them either a closer or someone that could be in that type of situation and brad hand who was offered the same exact deal that the nationals offered for him in free agency he decided to go to the nationals from what many reports indicate was to strictly be a closer obviously if he came to queens he would not be the strict closer because we have edwin diaz who has been money for the mets and save situations more often than not this season so you have brad hand here months later now after his time when not just the nationals this season but also the toronto Blue Jays, a 31 year old, six foot three, 220 plus pounder, had a solid start to his year with the Nationals, posting right around a three and a half year array. He ended up getting trade at the deadline, if you guys don't know, as the Nationals threw away everyone that isn't named Juan Soto, right? He goes to Toronto, they want to bolster their bullpen, and he does the complete opposite. He gives them an over seven year array in a short period of time, which ended up getting him cut, put on waivers, and now here we are, the Mets have picked him up. So the only positives that I could really see out of this are a couple, and it starts with this being an absolute zero risk high reward situation to a slight negative however in the scenario where the Mets do make playoffs and again it's not likely but in a scenario where they somehow some way do make playoffs Brad Hand cannot be part of the club during that time because the cutoff to acquire guys on waivers and anything like that is September 1st today's day is September 2nd so Brad Hand could not be a part of any type of playoff run for the Mets should it happen this year again I'm not saying it will but in the scenario where it does Brad Hand simply cannot be here for it so you look at the Brad Hand connection here though originally drafted in 2008 in the second round with the 52nd overall pick by not the Miami Marlins, the Florida Marlins. Yes, he has been a season reliever in the game. Again, at AL All-Star, if I didn't mention that right, during his time with the Cleveland Indians back in 2019. Has been a pretty respectable reliever at this point in his career. He's 31 now, though. A little bit on the latter half of his career, not having great numbers with Toronto. But again, some upsides. Again, low risk, high reward. Kind of a feel-me-out situation to see how he would do in Queens, if at all, here. And if he does well, then maybe the Mets will consider signing him to at least a one-year deal in the offseason season only time will tell but another positive take into the matter is the Toronto Blue Jays and I know that you might be wondering Tyler what does that mean my point is that the Mets actually made multiple signings in the offseason that were former Toronto Blue Jays that have done well for them even guys that say weren't doing too well during their time in Toronto take Aaron Loop the lone southpaw in this bullpen right now has been one of the best relievers in all of baseball the best free agent signing I think no one could argue for the Mets going back to free agency in the offseason they they bring him in spent a good amount of time of his career with Toronto posted a three and a half year ray on his career there not so many great seasons with them either he had like one or two that really stood out for me and then he comes to the Mets has a career year 1.2 year ray just been absolute money drink that bush light all you want Aaron Loop you're the best and then you have Jonathan VR who the Mets picked up as a bench piece obviously he's played in basically every game this year due to injuries but VR who was with Toronto for a short stint last year after being traded away from the Miami Marlins in the short season he had a 188 average with them and now this year he's second on the Mets in home runs I believe and as not look great he's been picked off more than anyone on first base but Jonathan VR has been a godsend for the Mets when needed because of all these injuries that have happened this year they go down the line further Taiwan Walker was with Toronto was traded them at the deadline he didn't even give up a run with them comes the Mets he's been awesome for the Mets more often than not this year even though the second half has been a little bit more rocky up and down Kevin Pillar Superman has been a very solid bench piece and the list goes on and on the Mets have fared pretty well with guys that are originally coming from Toronto even if they didn't post great numbers during their time in Toronto 
So in conclusion here, Brad Hand, 31 years of age, who has a 4.21 year rate during his stint combined with both the Nationals and the Blue Jays this year, is looking to kind of bounce back a little bit in Queens. And if things go well, then he could potentially be signed in the offseason. If not, that's no worries. All I know is that San Yarson was very much interested in during the offseason as well, along with the current Mets management, up until really Jared Porter was resigned, he fired everything that happened there, and then they brought in Zach Scott, who, as we know, is currently not with the club. And a quick Zach Scott update, if you guys don't know, after being arrested Tuesday morning at 4 a.m. for a, a supposed DUI situation, he has pleaded not guilty today at the time of recording this, and he will have a court date in early October, and he will be away from the Mets until further notice, and with Sandy Allerson will be the current GM until something changes or a move is made. So that'll do it for this video, Mets fans. Again, nothing fancy with the visuals or anything like that. This was strictly a waiver claim, low risk, high reward. We'll see what Brad Hand can bring this bullpen, if anything, down the stretch here in the season with the final month being upon us here in September. So Mets fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you like this pickup of Brad Hand? Are you happy that the Mets landed him months after the fact of trying to get him back in for agency? Do you not like the pickup? Do you think he's only going to continue to struggle after being traded away originally once from Toronto? Now he's picked up on the waivers from the Mets. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below as always. Always. and guys stay tuned more great content is coming on the channel as always so if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more great Mets content like this specifically please make sure to smash that like and subscribe on sharing this video with your friends put on the notification bell all is great things thank you so much for the continued support guys I love making Mets videos I love doing live streams so much is coming but rest assured I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below and as always let's go Mets baby